One of the viewers was asking me about the frequency range of this meter. So let's take a look at the frequency measurement. Uh, to measure frequency, I switch my meter to Hertz um, millivolt range and connect my signal generator to the meter <clears throat> and then push the Hertz button to obtain a uh, frequency measure measurement once I switch to the AC range actually. So now I'm in the frequency measurement um, setting and my signal generator is outputting 15 kilohertz frequency and that's pretty much what I'm reading here 14.99 yeah close enough um, so let's go up to um, 6 megahertz which was the highest frequency that I was able to get on this meter and let's see if we can go beyond that so this is 1 megahertz 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 megahertz and so far so good 5.999 megahertz so that looks good and then let's go to 7 megahertz 6.999 all right and now let's increase by 1 kilohertz 7 megahertz which actually um, that's an interesting point because this this meter is considered a 6000 count but really it's it looks to be a 7000 count uh, because it goes up to 7000 and then it should switch to the next range so I'm at uh, 7000 or 7 megahertz and 1 kilohertz 7000 and 1 kilohertz on my signal generator and it looks like this this meter is just off by um, I don't know you guys do the math how, how many percent that is but that's close enough to me I think you know one kilohertz off at seven megahertz that's pretty close so let's go to seven thousand and two kilohertz <clears throat> and it's still counting that's that's actually pretty cool because that means that this is like uh, seven thousand plus count really keeps going I'm really surprised because this meter is supposed to be 6,000 counts, so it should stop at 6,000 and then switch to the next range. So if, you're gen if you gently increase the frequency, then I guess it will just keep going. Maybe that's some bug in firmware that it doesn't hop to the next frequency or to the next range. That is pretty cool. So let's increase by 100 kilohertz now. Yeah, it still keeps going. So I'm at 7,501. Eight thousand. What? This should flip over to the next range. Oh, now it's going silly. Now I got confused. So, uh, 8,301 kilohertz. I'm getting a reliable reading. Let's increase by tens now. Tens of kilohertz. So this kind of is 8,000 count meter. It just... Uh, Oh yeah, so now, now it started going silly. So, yeah. <clears throat> it's an 8,000 count meter in terms of frequency. It just flips over to the next range, probably at a, at a lower value. So it's it's like a soft software limit of, of the uh, maximum value. So let's increase by units now. I have a feeling it will just start going silly at uh, 8400. 
Yeah. Okay. 8397, 8.397 megahertz is where it tops out at. And I'm not sure if it will even be able to really count to to that much when I replug the meter. Yeah, I guess it can. So it looks like this would be the, the maximum frequency that this meter can handle. And again, it's it's weird how it picks up apparently the um, power outlet frequency, the interference from I don't know what the the lights or the monitor. Let me turn off the light and and see what happens. No, it wasn't the light here, but it must be picking up interference from somewhere, and even with the probes detached I think it did no it didn't so so the probes the wires act like antennas and well even just proximity of my hand is enough for this meter to pick up the free, uh, power output frequency see I'm not I'm not even touching anything here I'm just holding my hand over over the meter and it's already picking up the frequency, but I was holding the cables in my other hand, so let me let go of those. And yeah, see, I'm just holding my hand above the meter, and if I lower my hand low enough, it'll pick up the the mains frequency. Yeah. <laughs> that's really weird but anyway plugging in the signal generator this looks like the maximum frequency at which it was stable at least for a while now I guess it stopped liking that one maybe it just depends on uh, arrangement of the wires how well the wires transmit the signal But yeah, uh, so one of the viewers mentioned that uh, he thought this was a meter capable of measuring up to 20 megahertz. And no, I, it doesn't look this way. I don't think it, it can measure that much. Um, this is the maximum frequency that it can handle. My um, signal generator is set to 8.398 megahertz. And this meter is off by one kilohertz at this uh, range so it's showing 8.397 megahertz but that's it see I switched now to 8.4 megahertz and that's already too much for this meter now I'm at 8 megahertz flat and yeah it's stable go to, to 9 megahertz nine come on nine megahertz it's out of range for this meter so yeah if this meter was capable of uh, measuring 20 megahertz which is what I have set now on, on my signal generator then it will just flip over to the next range and display 20 megahertz just like uh, this meter will display see it's already displaying uh, 20 megahertz 1.999 or 19.99 sorry so yeah this meter can go up to the maximum that I have on my signal generator 25 megahertz no problem this meter nowhere near well now for a moment it did display the the correct reading actually it got fooled so I don't know maybe, maybe again that's just a software thing that uh, it's capable of measuring that but it's limited by software to not do that I don't know because when I plugged in my my wires for a moment it displayed I think um, 24 
0.99 so that's that's weird now I have to review this video and see if it actually said 24.99 mega, megahertz or maybe it was like aliased measurement that's probably what it was really anyway doesn't look like this meter can can do 20 megahertz not even close